And we're back with the concluding episode of Orcs vs. Grey Knights. Alright, the Dread Knights move up. <clears throat> the Terminators come around the corner and decide, Hey, we got stuff to do. Let's kill some Orcs. Before the Orcs kill the rest of them with all the Flamers. The auto cannon, with its almost guaranteed hits and wounds, manages finally to wipe out the Shock Attack Gun and the Luda along with it. And so unfortunately, Shock Attack Gun did next to nothing this turn. The Vindicar Assassin does kill the Battle Wagon. Is we are, I was unable to save the, with a cover save, but it only wrecks on my burn as pop-out on the side facing the Grey Knights because we want to smash him. Eds, I don't, we're none of this, none of this wussy stuff. But he has lots of guns, and I forgot about that Flamer template that can you know reach across the map and. He basically kills all of my guys. <laughs> I, I made a very nice line for him, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep fighting. And so he continues. To, oh no! And then he hits the other squad with the with the other flamers. And so I got I got a few guys left though. It's totally fine. And so I make all my cover all my leaderships. I had to kill a guy with a boss pole, but we're in it. We're fine. It's Orc's turn. Truck decides. You know, screw that, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna fight. We're gonna be here. The orcs moving up, we're not scared at all anymore. We're past past that point, we're moving up. And the Big Mac and the Burn up there. They're moving, I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to be in charge range, but they're going up as far as possible. In fact, they're so excited that. And now we have fleet. But we rolled a one. And so I have to kill one of my boys. But there's still a power claw and a knob. So it's totally okay. But they aren't able to charge the, the dread knot, which is unfortunate. But we shoot some burnas and we kill another another terminator. Like these terminators, they fail their saves constantly. But the dread knights, well, they can't do anything. And they even fail their leadership, so they have to fall back. So I'm not sure what the deal is with these Dread Knights, but they'll, they'll fall eventually. All my Ludas shoot into them. Four solid wounds, and he makes all four saves. And that's super, super Dread Knight. I'm telling you. And so at the bottom of turn four, we just, those Dread Knights are still alive, they're strong. I did as much damage as I could with my Burnas and my boys. And, oh, we do have the Ninja Power Claw, but he's not, not like, He's an assassin, but not like one of those assassins that hides in the building like a Vindicar. He's like a, a real assassin. He'll, when you get close, he'll come out and chop your head off with his hand. Because that's what real assassins do. <clears throat> but we're on turn five. And the Terminators, of course, you know, having no fear, they, they, just, they just come back. So they're moving up. The Dread Knights are moving up. And now just the flame templates, I think, are just going to be able to clean up. Oh, yes, the final... Final weapon on that Dreadnought is able to, of course, wound and kill that knob. And it insta-kills him, so that's unfortunate. Then the remaining shots from the Terminators kill one last burn. I actually made a lot of saves, which is awesome. And the Vindicar Assassin shoots and wounds, but I make the save as well. And so I'm doing awesome until he uses a flame template, and then I can't make my cover save anymore. And then he dies. <laughs> and then... It's, I keep on lining up for these templates. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why, but it's just, it is working out for him. And I, he rolled a lot of ones, thankfully, and they made their, made their leadership, so they didn't have to run away. Now the orcs, final turn, they're going for it. You know what? I'm not gonna let a truck stay alive if he doesn't have to. So it's another death in glory! Of course he penetrates. If he rolls a two, no, he rolled a three, so he's immobilized. And so, he didn't blow up, but hey, he he distracted him at least. The Luda shoot into the Dreadnought, hopefully at least killing him. But with all their penetrating hits, they only managed to, well, they managed to wipe off the remaining arm and immobilize him. Turn six does not happen. And so that is an overwhelming victory for the Green Knights. Thanks for watching.